Hey, what's up guys? Matt here with Fix Anything Save Money. Today we're going to be showing you how to read a tape measure in engineer scale or tenths. This differs from inches in that it takes a foot and it breaks it up into 10 pieces, where with inches it takes a foot and it breaks it up into 12 pieces. So that's the simplest, easiest way I can kind of explain the difference between the two. A tenth is larger than an inch. So for the purposes of this video, we're just going to be focusing on tenths and they call it engineer scale. So the, where a lot of the disciplines use inches, when it comes to this tape measure, the only people that I really know that use this are engineers and surveyors. But let me know in the comments if there's another discipline or if you, know, you use this tape measure personally and what you do for a living. So yeah, that being said, we'll get right into it. So like I said, it takes a foot and it breaks it up into 10 pieces. Those 10 pieces are called tenths. So this would be a tenth. And then each individual tick mark, there's 10 of them in a tenth. And each individual tick mark is called a hundredth. So here's one hundredth, two hundredth, three, four, five, all the way up to 10. And then in between each tick mark, there's no line, but in between each one, is five thousandths, those are called thousandths. So in between a tenth, there's ten hundredths, and then in between the hundredths tick marks, we call them thousandths, we call them five thousandths. So half of that would be five thousandths. So we'll just give you an example of this real quick. Let's call it Let's say our measurement is 1.245. So to read that, this would be our feet. So we have one foot. This would be our tenths. This would be our hundredths. And this would be our thousandths. Now when it comes to reading this tape measure in particular, you're really only going to be able to split a hundredth and half accurately. So you're really only going to be able to read down to five thousandths. So when it comes to 1.245, we'll just find it on the tape. 1.2. And then we have four tick marks, four hundredths. So we would count one, two, three, four. And then we have our five thousandths. So that would be right here. That would be 1.245. So a lot of guys actually, once they learn how to read a tape measure in tenths, they actually think it's much easier because there's no fractions involved in this. Um, but yeah, it's just another way to measure things. Unfortunately, not a lot of disciplines use this. I kind of like this way. Um, but if you have any questions, be sure to reach out in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe to the channel like this video, check out all my other tool and DIY videos. I have a video up on how to convert between tenths and inches and it shows you how to read a tape measure in tenths, it shows you how to read a tape measure in inches and then how to easily convert back and forth. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. But yeah guys, that pretty much does it for this video. Like I said, if you have any questions, reach out in the comments. Thanks for watching, see you next time.